guys, welcome to this tutorial. As promised, I'm going to show you today how I edited this photo here in Lightroom. There is no Photoshop involved, only Lightroom. And here on the left side, you can see the before photo. And on the right side, this is the final version. And I'd say, let's do not waste any time and get started. So this is the photo resetted to the initial status and the first thing I did was rotating the photos and reposition it to make the eyes align in one line. As you can see here, we have a vertical line with her eyes together with the reflection of her eyes. And then we also have a horizontal line, which you can see here. Next, I adjusted the temperature a bit. I gave it a bit more of a blue look because the photo was really warm and there were like these pinkish tones in the shadows and to reduce them, I um, decreased or I turned tint into a bit greener look. Then I adjusted the exposure. I increased it a little bit. The main adjustments for the light were done here with the highlights and the shadows. I first went ahead and reduced the highlights. I usually keep the contrast at zero. I do not really adjust anything there. I like to really um, steer it with the highlights, shadows, whites and blacks, and also with the tone curve. So I also increased the shadows to make the contrast a bit less visible and to give the whole photo a more faded out look. Then I reduced the whites just a little bit. And as a final step, I also increased the blacks a bit because I thought there was like such a strong contrast between the brightness and the shadows. Okay, so I didn't change anything in the presence section. Instead, what I did uh, was increasing the vibrance a bit and reducing the saturation. So let's give this a really small plus value and reducing the saturation a bit. As you can see here, we already have quite some difference with just some small adjustments. And then we're good to go and work with our tone curve. I will here add the values and then explain what I did later. Okay, so first I lifted the shadows, the darker values a bit to um, apply a fading look. And then I also decreased the highlights to also make them, them fade out a little bit. I then set specific points to either add some highlights or add some contrast in specific areas, mainly around the hair. And I lifted the shadows a bit to make her reflection actually appear a bit more. One thing I forgot was applying the lens correction. So actually that's what you should do first. And now let's move on to the color grading. I used to always work with the section here on the right, but now um, I will do the main color grading as it's a stronger effect right here with the new color grading tool and apply some specifics with the um, in the section above so yes let's start with the shadows i first determined um, the color for the shadows i um, applied a bit of an orange yellowish tone i reduced the luminance but the saturation of the value shouldn't be too high you just want little adjustments and then I reduce the luminance 
and then I set the blending to 13. Next, move on to the mid tones. Here again, I um, increased the luminance first, and then I wanted to add some bluish tones, blue greenish tones to the mid tones. Again, with the saturation kind of low. I didn't change the blending here because it's a global value. I then moved on to the highlights. Here again, I added some blue tones because I just wanted to make the um, highlights on her cheek mainly match better with the rest of the colors. And at, as a last step, I adjusted the global values again. Here I first adjusted the, adjusted the luminance and then I added some greenish yellow tone as a global value but also with a saturation rather low because here in the color grading section all the changes you do are quite strong so I made sure that I keep my saturation values low. I didn't change anything in the details section. Instead, I added a vignette, but only with like minus five as a value. And now let's move on to a final color adjustment right here. So the red values in this photo mainly apply to the lips, not to the skin color. The skin color is determined by the orange values. So let's uh, make the lips match better with the oval skin color by turning them slightly into orange, reducing the saturation and decreasing the luminance, but only by minus 10%. Then move on to the skin and also to the hair in this case. I wanted to reduce the super orange tone a bit, um, that's why I reduced the saturation. And with the luminance value, I added some details to the skin again. But here you have to be extra careful. First of all, you don't want to like pull up the saturation too much, then it looks rather unnatural and we wanted to have this faded out look. And also with the luminance, if you decrease it too much, you See, you get all these, yeah, it looks like blemishes and then you would have fun retouching it later in Photoshop. So try to keep this value as natural as possible. Then I moved on to the yellow tones. Here I also um, decreased the saturation to make the skin look fade out a bit more and increase the luminance. Um, to add some highlights here and there. And now I'm just going to quickly forward what I did with the other colors. Okay, right, so I adjusted the green tone a bit. Um, it's mainly for the background as you can see here. And I increased the luminance to create a higher contrast between the model and the background, the wall, which is actually white. So that's why I also reduced the saturation, because otherwise it would look a bit strange. And with the blues, they mainly apply to her shirt. I didn't want her to wear a blue shirt, so I increased the saturation a bit. But I also paid attention to the shadows underneath her eyes, so we applied some makeup. We wanted to make her look like she cried and her makeup is destroyed. But in this shadow, you also have some green and blue tones, so I had to pay attention to this to not decrease the saturation or anything too much so that it still matches with the rest of her skin and um, make it look natural so that everything matches together. So as you can see um, in the beginning the photo was rather red-ish and um, so I also applied some changes to the purple colors and to the magenta colors 
to um, make everything match together. And now as a final step, I went to the calibration tool where I, where I applied some more changes, just small ones to again, make her hair pop out a bit more and increase this contrast between the reddish orangey hair and skin and the bluish greenish background and rest of the photo. In the end, I like to check the colors again, the highlights again, the shadows again and everything to see if it really matches together, if the skin looks fine or if I have to add highlights again here and there or if I have to adjust the color of the skin again. And um, yes, after checking everything and seeing if um, smaller changes can even enhance the photo, I'm usually done. So this is the final edit. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I will provide you with the free preset and yes, happy editing.